Amanda, is it our imagination in your thorough, or is there a lot of public disorder in Ockenden? I don't think that there's a lot of public disorder. I think what we're trying to do is bring it to the right people's attention, what is happening in uh, Ockenden. And we've always had a really positive relationship with both the housing office and the police in order to share as much information as possible and deal with it as quickly as possible. Uh, I think there's a number of issues that have to have happened at the same time. Um, we're obviously trying to work on the HDVs at the moment and, and how we deal with those at the same time as we're dealing with the um, relatively high profile uh, number of incidents that have happened on the on the Flowers estate. Um, I think they're high profile in the fact that so many residents were were affected by what was essentially youth nuisance that needed stamping out quickly um, and that's what we've done. And then there were issues in the park in particular um, with youths congregating and drinking and causing general nuisance and again the best way to deal with that is um, to work in conjunction with the police to get the motion in, to get the investigations done and see if we can't get one of the alcohol free zones over there. Are you confident something will be done? I think we'll build the evidence to prove that it needs to be done. We have to justify at the moment every single penny that's spent so we have to justify that that is an area um, that warrants that kind of intervention. So, you know, I'm in the process of, of gathering photos and complaints together. The police will have their own complaints um, and I've spoken to them and will continue to speak to them to make sure that they feel that, that they need these powers and that they can go forward. Um, but essentially, you know, as, as ward councillors, it's our job to make sure people are aware that this is on their agenda. Um, even if they feel that it's not bad enough to warrant something at the moment, we need to start the process because we, we can't let it get out of hand. Oh, but has it already got out of hand? I mean, we, we get press releases, you know, CCT footage of a man attacked in South Road, somebody attacked outside certain pubs, and, you know, we're not getting, we don't feel we're getting the same volume from Tilbury or Stanford or Greys. It does seem to be Ockham. Has it already, already got out of hand? I think that they, there have been, as I say, several high-profile incidents, um, but I think it's really important to say that they're not random. What they aren't are random members of the public being attacked um, in several cases. There, there appears to be a link. There's, there's not a huge amount that we can do as ward councillors to deal with that. That's absolutely a police issue. But in terms of general antisocial behaviour, um, you know, drinking, people that are drinking in the streets, we need to make sure we do everything we can to inform the police of who they are. And the only way we can do that is by working with residents. And if that means that, you know, we carry on spending every two weeks um, walking around on the flowers estate speaking to residents, we'll carry on doing that because actually that's what we're there for.